back to another episode of Explore Rigs. Something a little bit different this time. Uh, instead of four wheels, it's got two. I've brought down the brand new, uh, latest edition of the X Trackabout Explorer. Now, um, obviously this is the trailer that Lane's been dragging around on all of our episodes. This one's got a couple of uh, new little improvements, but it's something that we've used throughout the last two years and I've never done a video on it. So I thought I'd bring it out. Um, I've set up here just at a secret little camp spot that I've got. Beautiful little running creek in the background here. Uh, gonna have a little overnighter, but I just thought I'd run you guys through the trailer, sort of give you my opinion. Uh, now I've used it enough over the last couple of years. Show you guys exactly how quick it is, some of the features that I absolutely love. And uh, if anyone out there is interested in a off-road camper trailer or a touring trailer or a trailer for the whole family, then this just might be for you. So let's get stuck in. All right, well, basically what I'm gonna do now is we pulled up in the campsite just to give ourselves a little bit more room to make it easier to film. Um, I'm just gonna disconnect the trailer. Now, normally it's quite easy to get around, but because I have the Max Tracks and a bin bag on the back there, it does get pretty tight. So let's drop this thing off, I'll show you how. All right, we'll unhook all the bloody electronics. Look, most of it's pretty basic, but I'll probably just talk you through everything as we're going, step by step, um, obviously, Twin safety chains. All right, so safety chains off. Now it's got an arc, uh, what, what's it say on here? Extreme off-road. Now look, it's obviously a nice chunky jock, jockey wheel. You want something that is pretty heavy duty. This is the 750 series, so 750 kilos. It then does also have the external handle, which is good. The amount of times I've seen these get bent and sort of uh, banged around on trailers and then you can never get the bloody things off. So that simply clicks in here. It's also adjustable up and down, but we'll wind this down. Now up, on, up the front, basically this is an absolute must on any of your off-road camper trailers. It's the DO35 hitch. Uh, nice simple system if you've never seen it before. Push the red button once and uh, basically you're away. Now the best thing about the DO35 hitch is essentially, if you've seen any of the latest episodes, we actually put the last trailer on its side and um, this hitch will just fully articulate. So you'll never um, be limited by your off-road articulation with the hitch. These are basically standard, like I said, on all your off-road trailers. Handbrake, which is an absolute must. Now, while we're at the front of the uh, trailer, I might as well get stuck in. Uh, so we've got the stone guard at the front. Now, obviously on a slight angle, that just deflects any stones coming up and smashing your back window. It also protects the front of your trailers. Now, as we start going through this, this, uh, this trailer, there's obviously a couple of key features why I actually have teamed up with Trackabout and bring them along on all the uh, adventures, good old Wayno. Straight away, you can see that we've basically brought all the toys. Now, when you're heading out camping, whether it's with your family, friends, mates, uh, or even just you and the missus, you don't want to be limited by the amount of gear you're going to take, especially if you're towing a trailer. So I don't know what brand this is, but it's an absolute monster of a bike rack, which allows you to fit four push bikes. So that's you, the missus, and the two kids um, up the front here, which is absolutely epic. That's tucked away nicely, up high, out of the way of everything which means you can fit the tinny motor. Now, this is a very simple and easy to use slide, which you would have seen in some of the episodes. So Lane's got his big 15 Yami on the front here, and that obviously goes with the uh, tinny up on top. So look, it, it just absolutely changes the way you camp when you can take a tinny away. I've uh, done it for years without a tinny, and now all we do on just about every trip is there's either a creek or the ocean or something you can throw your tinny in. So. Straight away, that's a couple of like huge key features that I just absolutely love about the track about. You don't have to leave your toys at home. I'll move this car out of the way and we'll start setting her up. All right, now the fun part, time to set the tent up. So I was gonna set the, uh, 
the tent and the trailer up, but while we're at the front, what I might do is I might just keep working from my front all the way through to the back um, so I don't get lost in between. So up front, you've got this massive uh, toolbox unit. Now, two simple latches, I've already done the other side. Uh, before I get stuck into this, set of max tracks. So we've got the max tracks extreme on here. So you do have your max tracks holder um, always comes in handy. So we'll open that up. Now this is basically the brains of the trailer. This is where all the magic happens. Um, so you've got plenty of storage uh, on one side and then you've got a nice little shelf here, nice little shelf for some of your smaller storage. So inside here, we've got your heating system. So it's a Wabasto heater, essentially one of the best on the market, German made. So this does not only your hot water for your shower and in your kitchen sink, but it also has a heat system for inside the tent. So on those bloody freezing cold nights, uh, when you're out camping in winter, you can leave the fire, jump straight into your tent, have it all nice and crispy and warm, uh, ready to go to bed while everyone else suffers out in their swags, which to be honest, I absolutely hate when we go away with Lane and we're in the rooftop freezing our tits off and he's got the bloody heater going, but we won't get into that. So you've got your heat exchanger, um, now look, here's some of your outlets. So there's your flick mixer for your um, for your shower. Essentially, same as home, hot, cold, um, left, right, and on. Then you've got your shower outlet. That's where you connect your um, shower hose. I'll actually show you that. So you've got two fittings here. Uh, the first one's for the shower. Now it comes with a, a beautiful long hose. So whether you want to set the shower up on this side or what we normally do is set your little shower out up on the other side because normally this is where you're camping. Shower hut on the other side. You simply unscrew this. Screw your fitting straight on. Put your flick mixer to on. There's your nice little shower spray. Or you can have um, it just running. But just, how good's that? It is hard to beat a, a hot shower when you're out camping. Um, we do actually use this plenty on the Explore trips. We'll get Lane to set this all up. We'll use all of his water instead of the water in our trucks, but instant hot water. Now, the other fitting that we've got here, um, which I don't need to connect, but basically you, you can have either two 80s or 180 litre water tank underneath here, which is, in my opinion, the, the more water you can carry, the absolute better. Um, now look, let's say you've been out for a while and you've used up all the water. You simply connect this one onto here and you can actually suction draw either out of a jerry can or out of the creek. Um, it has that built-in pump ready to go. So essentially, if you pull up on a creek, um, as long as you've got diesel in that hot in that uh, fuel tank over there, you've got hot water unlimitedly. So that's nice and simple. You do have a little vent here as well, um, just when you are running the, the Wabasto system, just so that the uh, hot air can get out. Now, that's basically the, the, the water system. Then we got the brains, the Red Arc Red Vision. So this has got the pinnacle as far as um, your 12 volt systems go. Um, we'll get stuck into the Red Vision a little bit more when we open up the back of the trailer there, which has all your controls. But this is where the bulk of the system is all mounted up and the display is in the back. Let's go around the other side and check out some of the new goodies on the Explorer. While we're over here to check out the airbag system, this uh, is your little diesel tank that you fill up um, for the Wabasto. So it's a 10 litre tank and it lasts bloody forever, to be honest. So this is where it gets exciting. The, basically it's a mixture of Airbag Man and Cruise Master. So we'll show you the underneath shortly, but it's a full independent suspension um, system on this. And basically on the old trailers, they used to have your coils and shocks. On this one, you've got your shocks and your airbags. Now, what are the benefits of running airbags? Um, obviously it's a beautiful ride and you can sort of adjust the, the pressure in your airbags depending on how much weight you've got in the trailer, uh, making it for a lot nicer tow. And then secondly, when you pull up, and let's say the ground's a little bit uneven, um, gone to the days of having to chuck bits of timber and chock it up or wheel chocks, simply push this button and look at that. Fast and easy, away it goes, and you can individually adjust each side. And then of course, use your jockey wheel. So depending on what angle you're on, you can basically level that trailer up uh, in a matter of seconds. So you've got a nice comfy level bed, and then of course your kitchen stays level at the back. So, I mean, 
it's a little bit flush, but it's about as cool as it gets. So shout out to the boys at Cruise Master and Airbag Man. Look at that, that's actually really bloody quick. It's the first time I've used this, to be completely honest. Now look, um, the other benefit of having the air compressor, we'll just let that tank fill up so it's not too noisy, there we go. The other benefit of having the air compressor here is it's just like running an air compressor in your car or a little portable air compressor. You can connect your hose in here and then simply air up your tires or you can use it to um, change your connections to pump up the kids' footies or the, the push bikes on the tires. Um, it's always handy to have a uh, inbuilt air system, air tank. All right, well that's basically the front sorted. That's sort of where all the, all the magic happens. We'll move on uh, to this sneaky little section in here. Uh, then we might do a quick walk around of the accessories on the outside and then we're gonna set it up. So you've got a um, handy little storage system here. Now, at the moment, we've just got a couple of spreader poles in there. Um, that's one of the best things about this trailer, and we'll get stuck into that when we set the tent up, is you don't have 50,000 bloody poles and you're not blowing with the missus when you're setting the awning up. But um, look, great little storage. Mainly, we just fill this full of fishing rods, to be completely honest with you. Now, up the top here, we've got one um, jerry can. So that could be your 20 litre diesel to make sure that you never run out of uh, hot water while you're on the road. You could have water, bloody petrol, whatever you want to run, but it just gives you that um, third jerry can holder. Now you've got your two batteries up the front here, 200 amp hour lithium batteries. So 200 amp hours of lithium. Um, obviously lithium is as good as you get when it comes to batteries, a lot more lightweight and uh, the ultimate when it comes to your touring system. 200 amps, that should keep you going for ages. All right, we'll do a quick walk around the trailer. You've got another um, jerry can holder. You can never have enough jerry cans holders. Then you've got your two gas bottle holders. So look, to be honest, a four and a half litre is gonna last forever. The only gas you're running on this is your, um, your cooking, your hot plate, which we'll show you very shortly. But you've got the two there, so you can just interchange them. Once again, it's all about being able to be out on the road and fully self-sufficient. So 160 litres of bloody uh, water underneath. Then you can, you've got three jerry cans, so you can never run out of diesel or you can have it as spare water. And then you've got nine kilos of gas. So you're pretty much self-sufficient for um, as long as you want, especially if you pull up on a creek. Over on this side, now this is something that comes in super handy. It's just a little hand pump um, that comes off the tank. Now, obviously there's the proper sink inside, but you'd be surprised how often we use that just for washing hands, uh, feet, whatever, just to get in bed. You've got your water filler tucked in nicely there. Um, we'll sneak around the back. Um, now, obviously you've got your spare tire, which is important, nice and up out of the way and then easily accessible if you ever did need to use it. You've got your hot and cold water outlets here. Now that'll make more sense when we get stuck into the kitchen. Um, and then something else we'll pull, point out while we're here, I guess, is just your stabiliser legs. So simply pull up to camp, chuck on there. Um, if you want to get fancy, you can use your drill attachment and that'll basically just level up your trailer. Something that else that, you know, is definitely worth pointing out that not a lot of trailers do have, um, it's an absolute must when it comes to your off-road trailers, is they've got engineered, welded on recovery points at the back. And let me tell you, we have well and truly used this. Um, not specifically for pulling our lane out, but more for when we get stuck and we need to use lane to pull us forward. So. Um, we've actually done that uh, multiple times. While I'm down here, we might as well um, get stuck into everything that's underneath the trailer. So what you can see here, this one's only fitted with the single water tank, so that's your 80 litres. Uh, obviously food grade poly tank, um, and then it's got a nice protective shield on the back there as well. So none of those um, rocks that you might bang the trailer over or anything flicking up is gonna hurt any of your piping. All your wires and piping is all up nice and high, protected and out of the way. Now, we'll get into this. This is actually very trick and um, bloody cool. It's the new XT Freestyle from Cruise Master. I believe, I'm pretty sure, this is the only trailer that's got it on it. Um, it's bloody cool to see two Australian manufacturers, or three Australian manufacturers, I should say, track about Cruise Master and Airbag Man teaming up uh, to cons consistently push the boundaries. So this is a brand new independent um, suspension setup from Cruise Master that I'm guessing will be available shortly. Um, pretty stoked that we get to test it out first. But you've got your two G35 shocks under there, your nice big uh, swing arms, 
and then of course it's got the new airbag system. All right, what else have we got under here? I guess we might as well just uh, quickly mention the chassis. Obviously this is a chassis that they've been uh, continually um, evolving over the years, but where they've got it to now is basically it's a ladder uh, chassis construction. So you've got one piece from your front hitch all the way through to your suspension cross member. Now it's fully hot dip galled. Um, a lot of people will just galvanize the outside, which means they basically rust from the inside out. Full hot dip galled means all of the inside of your chassis is all galvanized, which is uh, an absolute must when you're going off road, specifically up the beach with sand and salt. Um, anyway, let's keep it dancing. All right, um, we've got a couple little cigarette outlets there. Um, always come in handy when you want to charge your phones or any other bits and pieces if you wanted to run another external fridge. There's your third jerry can holder. Um, now we've got a nice little storage box on top of the, the uh, wheel arch here for little knickknacks, all lockable as well, which is bloody handy when you're on the road. So then we've got the uh, walk up. This will make sense in a minute. Uh, but while we are here, if you undo that, Nice um, dust, massive dust seals. You never get any dust or water inside here. All fully waterproof zips, but you can actually undo this little section here and you can slide out in the C channel, this bit here without setting up the whole trailer. You can undo your walk up and you still have access in here um, to some of your drawers if you wanna just get to your, your clothes and bits and pieces. While we're here, let's get into it. So. Boat loader, now this is bloody simple, two little latches. If you've got two people, you can just have someone on the other side. But with the nice big gas struts, that's quite simple and easy. So I normally get it to about there, it'll balance itself. Walk around the other side and just slowly lower it down. Gas struts do most of the work. And basically there's your tinny, completely out of the way. Um, and any other gear that you might want to store on top of that rack. While we're talking about that rack, if you don't have the tinny, you know, basically load it up with anything else you want, your boxes. We, uh, we often take a couple of canoes away if we're not taking the tinnies. So look, it's just handy as hell. And like you're seeing there, two latches, a couple of seconds, and basically everything's out of the way. Now, the tent, simply walk around and undo a um, couple of these little buckles. I do normally do these before I set this up. Now remember, I'm not a, tra I'm not a uh, camper trailer guru. I have borrowed this a few times, so I have set this up no more than a handful of times on my own. So let's see how we go. Basically, just go around and undo this Velcro. Now this is a spanker trailer. I've gone to the wrong end for the zip. Here we go, but just grab the zip. With two people, this is even quicker. We normally put a little bit of string on this zip to make it uh, even, even easier. We'll actually open up this back tailgate just to pull that out of the way. Here's your cover. I normally just roll that up. Chuck it in half, sit it underneath there, that way it stays um, out of any weather if it, uh, if it starts raining. All right, now the fun part, simply grab this back awning, just let that sit there, walk up into your walk up, grab this rail, and basically that just comes over with you like that, nice and easy. Now, if you follow me in here, you've got two little poles. Simply slide them out, lock in the yellow tabs. Now look, if you wanted a real quick overnighter, this is it, you're done. Uh, you still get a full size queen mattress. And basically it's the last little corner of the bed just folds down, so. Look, that's it, you're in bed, you are done, ready to go. No poles, ropes, nothing needed, and you've got no canvas on the ground. We'll get stuck into here a little bit later, but let's get stuck into awning. This is normally when couples start to uh, get a little bit hot, sweaty, carried away, everyone starts arguing which pole goes where. Now look, I'm just setting this up by myself. So, this is a 
unique design to truck about. I'm trying to hold this up out here so you can still see what I'm doing, but you've got two little Velcro straps, which I'm doing one-handed for you. And look, basically they twist out. Now, believe it or not, even though this is extremely quick, they're actually modifying this again, which is coming out in the, the very next edition. Instead of this pole coming down to the ground, it will actually go back into the trailer. So completely freestanding, which is pretty cool. But look, anyway, that pole there, we've got your side poles. So you simply twist, slide them around. That slides into the little socket there. Put that on the angle for now. The third one. Same again. Look, just get that to the rough height that we want it. So the cool thing is, is this is already basically sort of freestanding, you know? You don't need someone to hold it the whole time. We simply chuck these spreaders on. Now look, these spreader bars um, are one option that makes it nice and quick. Your other option is you simply just chuck um, a couple of ropes on. So, we'll put these couple of spreader bars on. Like so, slide that one around, clip her in, set that up to height, set that one up. Tell you what, that's not bad. That's not bad at all for my first time. And there you go, look at that. You're basically freestanding, um, nice and solid. Now, one awesome thing about the way they've designed this awning is it always has fall. So whether you've got those spreader bars in or not, and you've got your couple of ropes, when it's pouring rain, you're never gonna get any pooling. You're always gonna have um, that pitched roof for all the water to run off. Now this is the selling point when you wanna convince uh, the missus, the girlfriend, uh, to come camping, and for any of those blokes out there that think they're master chefs. This, considering how small, compact, and lightweight this trailer is, um, this is bloody exciting. So, you pull the uh, kitchen out about halfway. Uh, there's a little leg under here. Simply drop that down, pull it out all the way so it can take the weight. You've got a little bit of adjustment in this leg if you want. We'll just lower that one down slightly. Absolutely magic. Unclip this, slide that up there, swing it around, lower that down. Now everything's adjustable because you're always on unlevel ground. So you just want to set that up so she's about level, lock that leg off lock that leg off now important i guess is you can either have this going right out here to give you a massive nice big long bench if you want to open your space up or how i normally do it to be completely honest so we sit it in here nice little infill corner piece and this gives you your nice big serving bench and then have a look at this kitchen sink hot and cold water then you've got your uh, three burner stove. And of course, where you keep your cold beers. How's that for a bloody trailer? I tell ya, here's your cutlery drawer. Um, and all this is obviously where you put all your spatulas and, and uh, bits and pieces. This is where, you know, it's just the small little things like this that come in handy. So it comes with a full cutlery set, your coffee mugs, your glasses, and even some uh, nice glass wine glasses, which is very flash for camping, but in this nice foam uh, little pouch system. So nothing's gonna bounce around and break when you're out on the road. All soft closed drawers as well. Um, and then just another big storage. So slam them and they are uh, nice and slow. You've got your Fusion uh, flat panel stereo system here as well. This is basically where we spend most of our time. We're out on the Explore trips. We set this up, we call this the Explore Hub. Now then, just when you think there's not enough, there's even more storage. This is essentially like a little preparation area as well. Just gives you that extra little bench space. And this is what we call the pantry. So um, all your bloody bits and pieces up there, another nice big deep drawer. But if you slide this out, you've got an absolutely massive amount of storage here for some of those bigger, bulky items like your camp ovens, um, any spare sleeping bags, pillows, for the kids if you're gonna set them up in swags or anything like that. Uh, you really never can have enough storage. So we normally leave that sitting there about halfway and that just gives you a nice big preparation bench. Um, while we're looking at this, 
I'll drop this little back awning down. So you've got three easy little button clips here. So you just lower this little back section down, comes around that spare tire nice and neat. Look, you can zip that up, I'll be honest, we never do. So there we go, that was three little button clips and you've got your uh, massive um, back wall. That just gives you that little bit of protection. Um, if it does start raining lightly, you know, that basically stops 80% of it. It also gives you a bit of shade when you're in the kitchen and a little bit of protection from wind uh, when you're trying to cook and uh, whatnot. Now, one thing that they don't actually have here yet, there is a nice easy light system that normally Velcro's on here. Um, now, keep in mind, this wall will fully zip off. But I want to point out something very bloody important where we're at now. So we've basically got the full bed set up, we've got the kitchen set up, we've got our awning set up. There is absolutely zero canvas on the ground. Everything is freestanding. So some of those old camper trailers, you know, with the, the canvas tents on the, on the ground, always tend to be a little bit hard to pack up and uh, you get that drama with putting away your, your wet tent. Now, um, I think this is one thing that sort of maybe gets a little bit overlooked with the truck about is it tends to look like your old school um, soft floor camper. I think we've well and truly busted that myth with full size queen bed, massive kitchen, huge awning that I set up by myself in uh, literally a minute, minute and a half. And then look, if you are gonna set up for a full week and you wanna get really carried away, it's a matter of zipping on this whole area um, can be fully enclosed. I actually throw it out there to you guys. Show me another trailer on the market. And this is why I've gone with track about um, from the very get go that you can have your full size awning, full size bed, probably one of the best kitchens I've ever seen on the market. You can take all your push bike, your tinny and your motor. Like for me, this is quick, this is easy. You've got zero canvas on the ground. The, the setup and the pack up is extremely quick, which you would have seen by now. Lane literally sets this up every night and every morning and packs it away every morning when we're out on our trips. So for me, easy use um, is definitely a massive thing with any product that I use, practicality, easy use. Now look, don't get me wrong, if you wanna go overboard and let's say you're gonna set up for that four days to a week. Um, the other cool thing about the track about trailer is you can basically go as mild or wild in the setup as you want. So they do do a fully enclosed room that simply zips onto here. Now that can actually stay fully attached while you pack the trailer up and it doesn't really change the setup time much at all. So if you're looking at going away with a couple of young kids, um, you know, leaving that room on might be a great option. So you can also add your Oz tent, you know, those quick 30 second tents. You could set one of them up here for the kids. That'll actually zip on. You can do extra um, extended awnings that simply zip on. Uh, and the other cool thing with track about is they, they will work in with you. Um, they can have all those little bits and pieces cut in, doors where you want them, windows where you want them. Uh, they are very customizable to sort of suit your touring needs. So I think that's something else that I'll point out while we're at this stage is this is basically a fully spec trailer with all the goodies. So you can spec this back down to your, to your um, standard off-road suspension. You don't need your hot water systems. You don't need the flash 12 volt gear and your, you know, your panel speakers. So you can really um, build a trailer that's gonna suit your price point, which is also very important. Uh, as long as you're getting out there, that's the main thing. Now, we're gonna step back into the kitchen. I'm gonna run you through the Red Vision, the 12 volt system on this. Like I said, it's fully spec'd, and this thing is pretty bloody specky. Here we go, the Red Vision. Now, if you're not familiar with the Red Arc Red Vision, basically it's your one-stop um, management system that takes care of everything in the trailer, from your power to your water. Um, it's gonna be pretty hard to see here, but I'll run you through. So, at the moment, I can see that the battery is at 98%, and um, with the, basically the amount of power that we're using now, which is nothing, we're good for about 28 days. It'll show me how much water is in the water tank. At the moment, it's at full capacity. It allows me to turn the fridge on and off. It allows me to turn the tap on and off. Um, obviously, you know, you still use the mixer, but if, if that's turned off, you won't actually get any water out, saving any little dramas, maybe on those bumpy roads. Uh, allows me to control any of the lighting that I've got inside the tent out here in the kitchen and then it also allows me to turn that hot water unit on and off. So it is very hard to see here but all you need to know is basically this is the top of your line 12 volt battery management system. It allows you to see how much power you've got coming in from your solar, how much power you're using when you've got all those uh, appliances running. 
um, which is key. When you set out at a campsite, you wanna know how much water you got and you wanna know how much power you've got. Do you need to run more solar? How many days are you good for? It's just that little peace of mind. And the fact that it's all here in one nice little unit um, is absolutely happy days. Let's get stuck into inside. Now look, it might not seem much, but this little walk up area is an absolute godsend when you're out camping. So as simple as the missus wanting to get changed or even yourself wanting to get changed, um, basically there's a door here, you just zip the door down. Obviously it keeps all those midges out and just allows that nice easy access in and out of bed, somewhere to quickly get changed like I said. Now, as always with the track about, bulk storage everywhere. So you've got your two drawers down here, um, which is pretty much where we keep all the clothes. And then you've got another couple of drawers, little bungee cords on there. You've got another couple of drawers tucked in there. So there's never any, there's not an inch of wasted space on this trailer. So right here, you've got your, um, your ducted heating. Now, look, one thing I didn't mention for the Red Vision is the Red Vision also comes with an app for your phone. So once you get up into bed and you're nice and comfy and you're done for the night and you remember, shit, I've left the bloody um, light on in the kitchen, you can jump on your app, you can turn the light off. Instead of fumbling around trying to find a switch in here, you can turn the light on and off inside the camper as well. You can also turn your, your uh, heater on and off all via that app, which is bloody handy. You might want to just have the heater on, heat the tent up, simply turn it off when you go to bed um, and you're laughing. So, there is a couple of um, built-in lights. You've got a nice little walkway light uh, at the entryway here. On each side of the bed, you do have your reading lights, um, his and her sort of reading lights. And then you've got some nice big LED strip lighting uh, up the top there, which is also dimmable. Now, um, of course, everything's all LED, so really low power draw. You've got a nice, essentially a bedside table here, which comes in super handy. Um, there is a couple of fans. By a couple, I mean one. <laughs> There's one little fan here, which is great in the summer, just to get that airflow going. One thing you will notice is every single panel has a absolutely massive um, midgy-proof fly mesh, which allows all that airflow um, to be coming through the tent. And then, of course, nice and easily zip up your, your fixed panels from the inside if it does look like it's um, gonna pour down. Now, this is where I'll take, I'll take me bloody feet off since it's brand new. But you are hard pushed to beat a fully inner sprung mattress, queen size mattress, in a camper. It is, it's, it is bloody shit hot to be honest. This is uh, as comfy as a camping mattress will get. Um, something I didn't point out here is you've also got a couple little power outlets. So when you do go to bed, you can simply charge your phones, camera gear, whatever bits and pieces you want to do. Plenty of room in here, nice head height. Um, for all sorts of activities. But look, that's basically it for inside. I think I've covered just about everything. Um, of course, the bed can stay um, completely made up as well, which you know, you gotta be careful on some of these trailers. All your pillows, all your bedding, everything stays in here. Um, and you, that way you don't have to worry about it. Righto. Right, now look, uh, that was basically inside the tent. Now, it's a bloody hot day today and it was extremely cool in there. So one other feature I'll point out is up on top, you've got your tropical, uh, tropical fly, tropical roof. So it gives you that layer of protection um, between the sun and the actual canvas roof of uh, inside your tent. So it's a UV treated um, protective cloth hits the UV, bounces off, and gives you that layer of separation, keeping the tent nice and cool. And then of course, um, your, your main canvas doesn't get wet as well. But look, all in all, there's one thing I did miss. I knew I was gonna miss a couple of things. If you've got any questions, make sure you just um, throw them in the comments. But I never really spoke about the wheels and tires. So you can basically set the axle up to suit your vehicle, which is extremely important for off-roading. It's an absolute must if you're gonna drag a trailer down the beach. So. At the moment, this one's set up specifically to suit lanes 80. So it's got the same wheel track. Um, it's got matching size um, hubs with your correct wheels and tires. So he can basically use the spare from his trailer on his car or from his car on the trailer. It means if you've got one spare on the car, one spare on the trailer, you basically have two spares for your full convoy setup, which is absolutely um, essential for that remote touring traveling. Look guys, all in all, 
that's basically a nice little walk around video uh, on the track about Explorer with the latest little update, which is those airbag suspension. Like I said, we've been running these trailers all around the country for the last couple of years, giving them absolute hiding everywhere from Tassie to Cape York up to uh, uh, Lorella Springs up in the Northern Territory. We've dragged them through the high country. So we've done just about anywhere that you'd want to drag one of these things, we have, uh, we've taken it. And now look, you might have heard me say this in some of my other videos, but this is the only thing that we've never broken on the convoy. And keep in mind, we did flip this thing on its side. So as far as a rugged, tough, Australian made trailer, do yourselves a favor if you're in the market, go and check them out. I'll throw in the links here, their Instagram, their YouTube channels. Um, if there's anything I might have missed or you've got any questions, jump on there and I'll do my best to answer it. Otherwise, um, just give the guys from track about a call. But uh, that just about wraps it up. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, see you next time. Uh, till then, get out and enjoy the Explore Life.